Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a wine glass in Blender 2.9. Right? So this is the wine glass and I have used a reference image so we can trace. Uh, we are creating the wine glass using a curve tool and then we are going to use the screw modifier. So let us see how that is done. We will go to file, new, general and we will get rid of the cube. Uh, by hitting the delete key on the keyboard we are going to go to add image reference and I found the wine glass image on Google so you just have to go to Google and search for wine glass and I also search for illustration wine glass illustration all right so that gives you a bunch of images for reference I use this one okay so you can use any other reference that you like we want a flat line on the ground so this is a little tricky to trace so a 2d representation is a better way to go about it okay so i have this image and i will hit the n key on the keyboard so i'll get these uh, tools or you can simply click on this button here and we want this to be 90 and the rest to be 0, 0. Okay, so that's our wine glass. I will move it back here. Okay, and then it like this now we don't want to select our background image we need to hide it so I will close this window by hitting the N key or you can simply drag it in like this and we'll make this window big and here we will open this option which makes it selectable or not selectable so this is our image and we will make it not selectable so we cannot select it so we can just use it as a reference all right so now we are going to trace this and then add a screw modifier so we will go to add curve bezier so the bezier curve is added which is not visible it's because it is flat on ground we have to rotate it Okay, so again n key and we'll make it 90 degrees and then we'll make it 90 here as well so it's standing up all right so n key to hide that and now uh, once we place this here it's difficult to see the line so what we will do is we'll go to the line options go to geometry and we'll add it some depth ever so slight depth so you can see the line maybe 0 0.01 all right so it's easy to trace and then this origin point is where it is going to add the screw from so that is an important thing to notice uh, what we want is that this has to be in the center of our glass this point this point Okay. I'm using the shift and middle click to pan and this point now we'll go to edit mode so we'll go from object mode to edit mode and this point right click and we want to make it uh, or control point selection handle will make it free okay We'll do the same thing on top, control point, selection handle. Okay, what that does is it separates these two handles. So if I click on this handle, moves independently of the other handle. Okay, so you get better control over the curve. So we'll select this one and place it. Here. 
then we will make this handle straight okay and then this one will go here these handles are too long so we make them short and move it up here so now we want a line here so i'll simply simply hit the e key for extrude and then we'll extrude the line here and then the selection handle again is very long so we will make it short here okay so now we can control the curve with these two handles Five. so one goes here and the other one goes Okay, so I created a little curve because I wanted a curve and then maybe I want the curve to be closer to the glass here, not so much. So that's your choice of design, how you want the glass to look. Okay, so it has like a curve like this. And then we will extrude this in the middle here and then extrude this in the end here And then this curve for the control it. And then you can spend a little bit of time fine tuning the design, but something like this looks good to me. Okay, then we'll go to object mode. So the center point is in the center here. If you want the glass to be thicker. Select these and go to the end. And then we'll go to modify panel. And we'll add the screw modifier. Okay, and then the axis is incorrect. We'll go to x axis and then we get the class. Alright. So you can see that the edges are rough. So if you increase this to 32, then you get a wine glass. Okay. And now you can still control the curve. So if you go to edit mode, and this is your curve. So you can make the base longer if you want. Then we can go ahead and work with the curves to change the way your wine glass looks. Okay, so you can control how the curve is. And the thickness can be controlled using the depth. So if you make it 0 0.02, then you get a little thicker. So that's the basics of how to create a simple wine glass in Blender. Thank you.